back in the worldwide arena. Scott Hudson and Mike Tanay with you. You're gonna see a long, tall Texan come to the ring in Kendall Wyndham. Younger brother of B.W. Barry Wyndham, who has certainly made his presence felt since his return to WCW. Second generation competitor from Sweetwater, Texas. Of course, the son of the legendary Black Jack Mulligan. Oh, don't say legendary when we've got Larry Zabisco back in the studio. Oh, that's right. You're we'll, going to hear we'll, about that. I, I know we will. Maybe we'll edit that out in post. Of course, Black Jack Mulligan was managed by another one of our broadcast colleagues. Tony Schiavone. No, not Tony Schiavone. Bobby the Brain Heenan. Absolutely. Although Tony Schiavone had quite a stellar managerial career. Let's not forget about that. A little history lesson here on WCW Worldwide for everyone. Very little. Very little. Mike Sullivan, graduate of the power plant in Atlanta, Georgia, on his way to the ring. And I tell you what, Sullivan is put together, looks to be in terrific condition. He does, but he's a rookie. And across the ring is a very experienced veteran of more than a decade in professional wrestling. And I'm sure that Kendall Wyndham is going to use that extensive knowledge and experience edge that he has in this matchup against Mike Sullivan. How about Super Brawl? Not Un that far away now, February the 21st. Under a month away at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum in the Bay Area, February 21st for Super Brawl 9. And Hollywood Hogan to make his very first defense of that ill-gotten World Heavyweight Championship. Well, Super Brawl all of a sudden is a Bay Area tradition. I think this is the third consecutive year that World Championship Wrestling has uh, brought you Super Brawl from the either San Francisco or Oakland area. We're in Oakland, California in 1999. And it was great to see Ric Flair as president of World Championship Wrestling reinstate J.J. Dillon a couple of weeks ago. Of course, J.J. is the chairman of the WCW Executive Committee. And among the very first rulings from J.J. Dillon was that Hollywood Hogan's first title defense after winning that uh, title in a very tainted manner at the Georgia Dome. When, that's, a, that's an understatement, When Kevin way. Nash just laid down and handed the belt to him on a sober platter. Hogan's first title defense is coming up at Super Brawl against a WCW competitor. Absolutely. And Hollywood Hogan, this may be one of the shorter title reigns for Hollywood. I gotta wonder, Hogan retired on Thanksgiving Day, came back at came back at the Georgia Dome on Nitro, won the title back that night, certainly didn't win it in the ring, was given the title back. We still don't know if Hogan's ready to go. He hasn't wrestled a contest. We it, only think he can go, but he, he certainly hasn't earned the championship. He may not come up the winner at Super Bowl. We make a great point, especially in terms of ring rust. But if you think back over Hollywood Hogan's career, what wrestler has gone away from professional wrestling more often than Hogan? I'm talking about in terms of making movies, television appearances, and if you think back through his illustrious career, he's always been able to bounce back on top, so that has to be a huge edge for Hogan going into Super Brawl. That's an excellent point. Hogan, more than anyone else, shows no ring rust. He will take a couple of months, even up to a year off, to make a movie, to do whatever. Of course, now he took two months off the run for president. I guess that's still going on. But now is WCW World Heavyweight Champion. He will defend it February 21st in Oakland on pay-per-view at Super Brawl 9. Kendall Wyndham and Mike Sullivan here on Worldwide. Wyndham misses. Charged in with the corner clothesline. Sullivan ducked out of the way. Sullivan into the rope. Wyndham sack. Oh, big five bar. Now let's see if Mike Sullivan can capitalize on that air in the corner by Kendall Wyndham. He's followed up nicely first with that forearm smash. And here comes a suplex and a cover. And he got the two count on big Kendall Wyndham. And Kendall Wyndham's about 6'6". Not an easy man to get up in that suplex. Oh, no. Oh, the swinging neck breaker from Kendall. That illustrates what we talked about earlier, the lack of experience on the part of Mike Sullivan as he telegraphed the back body drop, allowing Kendall Wyndham to connect with the swinging neck breaker. Now Kendall Wyndham back in control on the rookie Mike Sullivan. Kendall with the back elbow on the corner. Once again, shoots him across. Kendall waits on him. Oh! 
What a bulldog out of the corner. A variation of the bulldog, and you can count to 203 after that one. Sullivan, I think, is out. And Kendall Wendell, what a victory. Following in the footsteps of his brother, Big Barry Wendell. Kendall gets the two here on Worldwide. And Mike, that was impressive. I think it's worth another look as we go back to the replay. Well, this matchup was all about Kendall Wyndham. Momentary bit of offense for Mike Sullivan. There you see that spinning neck breaker. Follows up in the corner, and as Sullivan comes bouncing out of the corner, he plants it with the variation of the Bulldog, and there's the three count. They are the men who killed tradition. A special look at Kevin Nash and Hollywood Hogan. <laughs> 